forward to this. There's no time like the present though. Let's get on with it. I'm sure someone told me it was really hard to get the windows out on the Mini. Quite recently, I don't know why, but that was 25 minutes. All the windows out and the headlining out. So let me show you what's going on. Um, these bars that go through it the rods are color coded so i've left them in place at the moment so before we fit the new one we make sure they go back on in the right order you can see how dirty it is i don't think that would have cleaned up uh, i don't know it's not foam backs so you yeah you anything you put on the other side is just going to soak into that foam um but yeah, it's come out nicely. Windows weren't too bad to get out. Obviously, it's the getting them in bit, which is a difficult bit. The good news is, can you see under here, there's just some bubbling. I mean, this is, the window rubber line is here. So there's some bubbling. It's way behind the rubber line. Um, but what that means is I'm going to be able to clean that out and cure rust it before it gets any worse and starts showing on the scuttle. So that's great, that was good timing to do that. So that's kind of it for the moment. Next step is get it back in. There is this um, foam which fits on the underside of the roof. So let me show you. So foam goes up here. Uh, the back bit's still on. I'll probably pull the back bit off and re-glue it because obviously if that drops down onto that headline then it's going to make it all sag and look horrible. I've just laid the headlining out on the roof as it would be from the underside. So if you're ever doing this yourself, this is the order it goes in. So yellow, blue, black, white, white, red. So from the front, red, white, white, black blue, yellow.
well there we go i'm quite pleased with how that's going so far so there's very very minimal rust around here but i have just gone along and cure rusted it anyway little tiny bit in the middle but as i say it's behind the rubber where the win window rubber goes so it's not going to show on the paintwork uh, around the corner around here just this very very bottom bit i reckon is probably going to show so we'll give that touch that in with a bit of body color but it's only really really that last sort of millimetre a couple of millimetres then I've just gone round cleaned up the window frame I've cure rusted the back edge of that as well because they rust from the inside as well um, so I've just gone and checked all the rest of the window apertures cleaned them up spot on rear one spot on uh, both sides spot on no rust anywhere else uh, and then I've laid out the new headlining it's quite difficult to tell out tell what's front and what's back uh, but I had a look on the back section there's two the two rods are quite close whereas on the front they're wider apart so that sort of corresponds to this one where the two rear rods are quite close to each other so I've just laid that out at the moment just on top of Vinny um, just to sort of even it out because it's been screwed up in a packet so I'll leave that a couple of days day maybe um could almost do with ironing but i don't want to risk that you know, i'll probably melt it or something like that so i've got these bulldog clips just to hold it in place so i use these to clip um on the window apertures get it all tight uh, i think there's 80 in there 100 something like that the only other bit i'm unsure so the c pillar that's the original trim for the c pillar it's quite clean quite tidy still I might just reuse it the only difference is it's a slightly different color um, but the replacement ones they're just not quite as good I don't think I don't think they'll fit as well uh, and I don't really think it matters that they're a contrasting color it doesn't look too bad um, be the same so the sun visors are going to be contrasting with the headlining as well to be honest I was a little bit disappointed with that I bought a Newton commercial one uh, because I was expecting it to be exactly the same colour as the original and it's not um, it's a darker grey um, but that's fine that's fine as long as it fits in nicely um, so yeah there we are I just need to get some decent quality spray adhesive now um, get that back in get it back together uh, just by way of a little tip actually uh, so I did try cleaning this headlining I tried upholstery cleaner and a wet back on it. I got this corner particularly wet trying to clean it and it did clean up to a degree but can you see what it's done to the foam on the back of it? So yeah, I, I would say they're not really cleanable uh, or you've got to keep try and keep it reasonably dry while you clean it. And just looking at the colour, I'm looking, so that's the inside bit. It's more of a really, I mean, that's obviously a little bit dirty, but the inside should be kind of the original colour. It's like a beige colour, whereas the replacement is definitely grey. But the actual material itself is uh, pretty much identical. Right, so we're progressing nicely. I've obviously got the new headlining parts laid out now. Um, where there was a couple of little scabs underneath the window rubber, they've been cure rusted, they've been primed, and I've just put the first coat of top coat on them. 90% 90, 90 of them are behind the rubber, so you won't see them. This one down here will just stick outside the rubber a little bit, so... I just need to make sure that looks nice um, and inside the car so I've cleaned up all these uh, door and window frame apertures so the glue will stick on nicely and inside I've put these rods up um, just temporarily I need to put the felt in I need to glue the felt uh, but these are to hold the felt in place while the glue dries. I'm just using contact adhesive um, from Evo Stick. Um, it's 
it's quite expensive, about £10 a can, but it should work. Now the trick is we need to leave that for about, it says about three minutes just to let the adhesive go off a little bit and then we'll try and get it in without making a mess. Well that's gone in quite nicely. Um, sticks really well actually the rear part is just I don't want to take it off because it's well stuck in certain places um, so I'll just um, do the little areas which have come unstuck Well, sorry about that guys that's kind of frustrating i just time lapsed probably the last hour and uh, for some reason it didn't record any of it so anyway we've got the headlining in uh, i've used loads of these bulldog clips all the way around uh, just to hold it in place uh, to get the tension right on the headlining um, so it's looking pretty good um, the rods, I've just transferred out the old headline in, into the new one. And then I'll put that up inside the car now. So as you can see, it don't look too bad at all. You have to go round and just tension it a little bit. But I would think it's probably a lot easier than sort of a, that sort of nylon plasticky headlining. That, that sort of needs stretching out. But this... Is pretty straightforward now I've got to do the messy bit which is trim it up and glue in around the window apertures so we'll try and make as little mess as possible doing this
that's it done finished um, not a nice job to do can't say I want to do it again um, but it's looking good it's nice and taut there's no horrible creases in it um, yeah it went quite well couple of little lumpy bits but I think they'll just settle. I'm pleased with that. Horrible job but finally got round to doing it. Mm -hmm.